Hi and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday the 22nd of May and Thy Kingdom Come. Let's begin. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Creator God. To you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed as an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his way known to Moses and his way, his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 20 says, We will call on the name of the Lord our God. May the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your mind. May we rejoice in your salvation and triumph in the name of our God. May the Lord perform all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord will save his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven the mighty strength of his right hand. Some put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call on the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. O Lord, save the King and answer us when we call upon you. We will call on the name of the Lord our God. Merciful God, purify our hearts in the flame of your spirit and transform our toil into an offering of praise that we, we may reject the proud rule of might and trust in Christ alone for he is the Lord forever and ever. Psalm 81 says, Oh come let us sing to the Lord. Sing merrily to the God our strength. Shout for joy to the God of Jacob. Take up the song and sound the timbrel the tuneful lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, as at the full moon upon our solemn feast day. For this is a statute for Israel, a law for the God of Jacob. The charge he laid on the people of Joseph when they came out of the land of Egypt. I heard a voice I did not know that said, I ease their shoulder from the burden, their hands were set free from bearing the load. You called upon me in trouble and I delivered you. I answered you from the secret place of thunder and proved you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, and I will admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I shall fill it. But my people would not hear my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I sent them away in the stubbornness of their heart, and so let them walk after their own counsels, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. 
then I should put down their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate the Lord would be humbled before him, and their punishment would last forever. But Israel would I feed with the finest wheat, and with honey from the rock I would satisfy them. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Father of mercy, keep us joyful in your salvation and faithful to your covenant. And as we journey to your kingdom, ever feed us with the bread of life, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Numbers chapter 20, verse 1 to 13. The Israelites, the whole congregation, came into the wilderness of Zin in the first month and the people stayed in Kadesh. Miriam died there and was buried there. Now there was no water for the congregation so they gathered together against Moses and against Aaron. The people quarreled with Moses and said would that we had died when our kindred died before the Lord. Why have you brought the assembly of the Lord into this wilderness for us? and our livestock to die here. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to bring us to this wretched place? It is no place for grain or figs or vines or pomegranates and there is no water to drink. Then Moses and Aaron went away from the assembly to the entrance of the tent of meeting and fell on their faces and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, take the staff and assemble the congregation, you and your brother Aaron and command the rock before their eyes to yield its water. Thus you shall bring water out of the rock for them. Thus you shall provide drink for the congregation and their livestock. So Moses took the staff from before the Lord. As he had commanded him, Moses and Aaron gathered this assembly together before the rock and said, Listen, you rebels, shall we bring water for you out of this rock? Then Moses lifted his hand and struck the rock twice with his staff, Water came out abundantly, and the congregation and their livestock drank. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you did not trust me to show my holiness before the eyes of the Israelites, therefore you shall not bring this assembly into the land that I have given them. These are the waters of Meribah, where the people of Israel quarrelled with the Lord, and by which he showed his holiness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. song of Ezekiel. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove your body, the heart, from your body, the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Hallelujah. Our New Testament reading is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 7, verse 11 to 17. Soon afterward, he went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow, and with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, and he had compassion for her, and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward and touched the bier, and the bearers stood still, and he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak. Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God had looked favourably on his people. This word spread about him throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. 
All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring out your gifts of your Spirit. And kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. In the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Christ has gone up on high and led captivity captive. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Let us pray. The Christ who forever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let all peoples, all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Set down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We collect for the day, O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us us to the place where saviour christ is gone before who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen and being made one in the power of the spirit as our saviour taught us so we pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>